Welcome back to the show, everybody. This is one of our favorite shows of the week, Beat the Bookie. Uh, the show where we try and make you a few bob by giving you our picks. Joining me as always, the Dazzler Mystic Mac on this show. How are we, Darren? I'm all good, Noel. Yeah, it's it's absolutely my favorite. There's no yeah. doout about it. Yeah, <laughs> I love this one, I have to say. Not just because I like it all, you know, flutter, but because I know we have a bit of crack on this one each, week, each, and, each and every week, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. It's an interesting weekend for the Premier League where we're kind of stockpiled a bit into Sunday, aren't we? We've a we've a massive lineup on Sunday, but it's only, we'll get... it's only three games on Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, but three a half twelve, a three o'clock, and a and a five thirty. Three good games, though. Three good games. So um let's run down through the fixtures first of all. So Saturday, the half twelve, Brighton versus Liverpool. The three o'clock is Brentford versus Burnley, and the half five, Man United versus Tottenham. Massive game in the top four race. Um, Sunday, we go in with a bunch of two o'clock. Let, let me just take a breath for that one. <sighs> okay, go on, keep going. You know, the way things are working out tonight, you might have the old sports manager in by then. Who knows? Um, starting with the two o'clock, then Leeds versus Norwich, Everton versus Wolves. Again, a massive game for Everton. Chelsea versus Newcastle, Southampton versus Watford, West Ham versus Aston Villa, and Arsenal versus Leicester is the 4 30 the Super Sunday. Um, really, really good game there. Massive game for Arsenal as well in the top four race. And Noel, just on that note, I'm going to start us off this week because this is my blockbuster anytime goal scorer, right? Well, you can't start yet because I haven't given Monday's fixture yet. We round oh, out the we? weekend with Crystal Palace versus Man City. Just a small matter of Crystal Palace versus the top of the table. Um, now go ahead. Fire away, my friend. You're fired up for this this week. Blockbuster. When I use the word blockbuster, I use it because the four any twin goal scorers in this pair are absolute blockbusters. All four of them individually and collectively, they are four blockbusters as well. And this, this is the- a tidy tidy price now these is this is it any time goal scorers yeah is this this is a semi-retirement bet is it this is this is not only is it a good bet but they're, they're geez there's some serious players in here this some comes serious. in we're going golfing to the k club for the day with lunch oh and i tell you what listen what we a joy even, to we see might it. even stay over <laughs> what a joy this would be to see a couple of the lads together oh wow shivers and all that huh right give right, us so it. kick give us kicking it. us off kicking us off even money any time, Cristiano Ronaldo against Spurs, not at home. Um, we need a result. I think, you know, you'd have to hope um, Ronaldo's going to step up. So he's my fourth one. Second I have is Mohamed Salah away at Brighton at the weekend. Um, also, even money any time. Um, you know, at the minute, I don't think I could argue he's the best player on the planet. I, I, I wouldn't even try. Yeah. You know, we, we're, we've gone from you know, the previous best player on the planet to the best player on the planet. Yeah. Mm. So we've whisper, got... whisper at the moment going around is he may be rested. That's the talk at the moment, believe it or not. He looks a little okay. bit looks a little bit tired, our Mo Salah. But we shall well, see. You wouldn't know whether that rest will come as in he'll come off half an hour early, or maybe if things aren't going your way, he'll have to come on with half an hour to go. Mm. You wouldn't know. We might still get yeah. the same. The mm. Egyptian king, is not what they call him? Absolutely. So toured on toured on my list, and um, again they're playing very well at the minute, and but they do concede goals. Is Arsenal? So I'm, I'm opposing Arsenal with Jamie Vardy. Jamie got back on the score sheet last week. This is Arsenal and Leicester on Sunday, yeah. Um, so I am going Jamie Vardy. Jamie is two to one. So I've given you Salah at evens, Ronaldo at evens, and Vardy at two to one. And to cap it all off, to give us a little bit of a little bit of cream on the top, we are going with one. Philly Coutinho, who was away from home against West Ham, he's in unbelievable form at the minute, Great show. Um, and he is four to one. So Ronaldo, Salah, Vardy, and Coutinho, any time, all four, sixty to one. Great show, great shout. Um, that's a bl- the- that's a block was that one. It is. I'll give you then. I'll I'll skip ahead and I'll give you my goal scorer any time as well, so we can go on. Have a little bit of Com- debate, let's say. Com- compare um, and contrast. I went with one Luis Diaz. Okay. Uh, for Liverpool. 
And then I went with your boy at the moment who is bang in form, one Jaden Sancho. Um, okay. I took Rafinha off Leeds. Home against Norwich, Eddie. They are home against Norwich. Sets like up that. nicely for that ball. I like that. Yeah, absolutely. And I finished it out with the Saints versus Wofford, one James Ward Prowse. And, know that. and those four give you a tidy little 42 to 1. How are they worse prices than my four? I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> but it's 40. That's what I got. It's 42 to 1. That's what I got. Um, All right. I got, I got, I got Ronaldo, Salaverdi, and Coutinho. Two evens, a two to one, a four to one, 60 to one. Listen, mm. I don't think, uh, don't think we could sneeze at either of those, could we? No. If you had 20 quid or 10 or on each of those, you'd be very happy. But as always, gamble responsibly. Um, I'll give you this Saturday. I'll run down through a couple and then you can give me your, your other one as well. Actually, no, before I do that, I'm going to give you Mark's anytime because Mark sent me an anytime, our resident referee. Mark's mm-hmm. anytime is Saka, Brogia and Mount. Saka, Brogia and Mount. Okay, as a treble. What, you got to be talking about 25s? 22 to 1. Again, not a bad one at all. Absolutely not. No. So, um, let's move into the breakdowns then. I give you the Saturday accumulator, a nice little tidy treble. Liverpool, Brentford and Spurs. 10 to 1. No, no. No? Not having that? Just, just no. Just no? No? I haven't it. I haven't known. You can't imagine a world where Spurs win at all, Trafford. Did they beat us six one there last year? <laughs> yeah, but I mean this year. I mean this weekend. I think we'll get something out of it. I don't know how much we'll get out of it. I'd love to think we get three points out of it, but mm. we get something in my guesstimation. Interesting. Spurs coming off. Um, a very good performance, so we shall see. Spurs, um, don't forget, though, are that Jekyll and Hoy team where they have great hot performance, cold, hot cold, poor hot performance, cold. great performance, poor performance. So, you know, we'll have to wait and see. A lot riding on this one, though, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's the problem, I suppose. I went in, um, I did a Bill Shankly builder, bet builder for the Liverpool game. Liverpool to win over 1.5. Because um, I reckon Brighton will make it slightly tougher for us than it normally is. So I reckon it could have been a tighter game. But I'm going to go with 1.5. Both teams to score. And Luis Diaz any time. Only returns 4-1. to one. It's not a huge price. Yeah, don't, don't be coming at me with your 4-1. to one, So I don't want to know about it. Well, sure, a man of your means. You could throw a ton on it and return 5. If I can't, if I can't retire after it, like, there's, no, there's just no point, is there? Yeah. Or at least take at least take a day off. <laughs> yeah. Mark Mark didn't send me in his uh his uh bet builder for the United game. So what I did was I came up with the Gaza Gamble. The Gaza the, Gamble. The Gaza Gamble. And the Gaza Gamble is Spurs to win over 2.5 goals, both teams to score, and Sun anytime. Again, 15 to 2, seven and a half. Not a huge price, sure, isn't it? No. And there's a lot of risk involved in that, isn't there? There is. Um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not happy with that. No, I'm not happy. Okay. Um, my Sunday, again, this is a tough one as well. The Sunday accumulator that I went with, Leeds, Chelsea, Southampton and Arsenal, 4-1. to one. It's not a great price. Chelsea, Arsenal, Arsenal. No, it's not. You know? It's not. It's not considering you need to get all of those ducks in the line. Do you know what I mean? If yeah. if you could miss one or two, you know, no, it's a lot in it now. Well, because, line, I have to say. because it was such a low price, I had a look at two draws as well for Sunday. Everton and Wolves and West Ham and Villa. Ten to they one. could they could absolutely have. ten to one for both draws. Yeah. That's a much better bet, I think, on Sunday. Noel breaking news, you know, we like to do things on the fly. Mm. PSG are out of the Champions League. PSG are out of the Champions League. We called it. You heard it here first. We Indeed. told you Ray Allah beat them. 
We were very confident in the fact Real had beat them over two legs because they are shit the beds. They, you know shat, the, they shat the bed against United. You know two nil up, yeah. going away from home. Or two nil up from, from the away leg, going back to Paris, and they shat the bed, and they've done it again. Good do, you know, night. do you know what we're going to do? We're going to look back at this season, and we're going to make a list of everything that we spoke about and predicted and came true. And we're going to do it like a list of Jericho. And what we'll do is we will start out next season with an episode and you're going to come on with a clipboard, the list of Dazzler or something like that. And we're going to go down through everything that we spoke about this season that came through and what we predicted. And we're going to tell you when we spoke about them and when they happened for real, just so you can see the timelines. You know, like on, you know, January 12th, when I told you Eddie Howe was going to be Newcastle manager. And then on like, you know, January 18th, when Eddie Howe was the Newcastle manager. And everyone went, Jesus, where did he come from? Yeah. We thought it was going to be Illinois Emery. We thought it was going to be. We thought it was going to be. No, it wasn't. It's going to be Eddie Howe. Like, oh, like the story we seen tonight on OTB Sports, where they were talking about Seamus Coleman's career coming to an end. And you, my friend, spoke about that f- at least four months ago. At least four months ago. Comfortably. Um, and not that we were comfortable speaking about it, but no, reality it's not. It's, it's Yeah, absolutely. It's not yeah. something we take pleasure in, you know, because Seamus has been a great service to the Irish team. He really, really has. Yeah. And he's a, he's a great guy, by the way. A really mm. great guy. But absolutely. Unfortunately, the, the slope is slippy in that mm. Premier League. And, yeah. and as soon as you get onto it, it's hard to get off it, you know? Yeah, normally a good-natured lad, but he was looking for a knock the other day in that match going down the tunnel, wasn't he? He was trying to have a knock with someone. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just reading the message coming in on my iPhone. You said that a few weeks ago. Madrid will come back and win. Yeah. Me son. Yeah, right. Nice. I did. Nice. Um, as football fans, I know we like our colours as well. So what I did was I had a little bit of fun. So this weekend, what I did is I did a red Zaka and I did a blue Zaka. So for the red Zaka, I put in Liverpool, Arsenal and Man United. Four to one. Right. Not, not a huge price now. You know what I mean? But again, for three, not inconceivable. Although Arsenal against Leicester and United against Tottenham, you would have been expecting better odds before to one. But I did put together a lovely Blues, Aka, where I did Man, okay. Man City, Chelsea, Man City. Leicester and Everton, 20 to one. Now that's, I was going to say, that's going to be decent price, that isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 20 to one. Not, not too bad. It's not bad. Mm. It's not bad, but I, I have one to rival it now. Go on then. Give us your one. This is me. This is me. Me tasty one. This is where we, you know, we might get an L night out of. And again, my favorite bet of the weekend. Every single weekend, this is my favorite bet. Result and both teams to score. I love it. You know, sometimes I hit it. Sometimes I don't hit it. But I always enjoy it. Liverpool and both teams to score. Yeah. Two to one. Southampton. And both teams to score three to one. Mm. And the third of my treble to round it out, Wolves and both teams to score six to one, two to one, three to one, six to one, 85 to one treble. Nice. That's going to be our uh, charity bet of the week. Yeah, that's an interesting one, all right. Especially Wolves away to Everton at Goodison. Wolves are six to one to win with both teams scoring. Yeah, yeah, that's a, look, that's with, great. With, that's that's a great price on its own. Absolutely. Yeah. With, with how Everton are playing at the minute, that's unbelievable. Yeah. So Liverpool, Wolves, and Southampton all to win, and both teams scoring the games eighty-five to one. That's a gem. That Brilliant. is a golden nugget. Brilliant. Bet. Imagine a little ten euro going in. How are you, Paddy? You mind give me that 860 euro? Oh, just mm. the, you know, two weeks before going to Dallas to WrestleMania, that would just be beautiful, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Now, Mark, our resident referee, is back, sent us in a championship bet. So you'll have to give me your thoughts on this. And again, right. it's an anytime goal scorer. So okay. from the championship, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call some of his goal scorers. Right, go on. Right, hey, I'm gonna. Call actually, do you know what? I need to look at who's playing for us before I call the hang on. Let me look into the, the, the lawyer score app so we can see who is playing this weekend. Um, let me see here. All right, okay. So he has gone with 
He's gone with Josh Bowler. No. Nope. Right. Is it easier if I give you the t- the three teams? Give me the three teams. I'll give right. you this. Like, so go he's gone with Forest, Blackpool, and Stoke. Forest, Blackpool, and Stoke. He's gone Blackpool, and he hasn't gone Josh Bowler. So then he can only be on Jerry Yates. No. Um, he has Lowry or Medine. He has Yates. He might have he might have jotted these down wrong, did he? Because he has Yates down for Forest. Nah, that Yates right? is uh, a nah, Yates, Yates is Blackpool. Is, yeah. Yeah, then he's mixed these up because he has then he has Yates in front of Forest. That's why I said I get you to confirm it. And he has Lavery in front of Blackpill. Oh yeah, it, he has does it. No, 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 no. He's already he's, he's got a Yates. He's got a Yates on Forest as well. There's a for, does a Yates on Forest as well. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Lavery is absolutely um Blackpill. a Blackpill player. Yeah. yeah. And then and then he rounded out where is it? Jacob Mag- Brown at Stoke. No, Maja, is it? M A J. Josh Maja. Josh Maja at Stoke. There you yeah. Go. It's yeah, the boy yeah. used to play for Sunderland when he got relegated. Remember on that Netflix documentary? Yeah. He brought oh, him up into yes. this. Yes, Went to absolutely. Bordeaux and stuff like that. Player the kid is. Yeah, so he has those three coming in. It's around 18 Imagine. to 1. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Sorry. Yeah, not too bad. Anytime treble. I don't think it's as good as Ronaldo, Salah, Verdi, Coutinho, 60 to 1 anytime, though. No. But it is the championship and he does love it. He loves Blackpool. He loves I, love, I have to tell you, I'm a massive fan of that championship. You yeah. know that. You he know how. It. Yeah. yeah, it's great, great league, yeah. great, great. It's just, league. it's just so competitive. That's the thing about it's the, it. It's just the second best league in Europe. Fact. Well, based on what we're saying tonight, Fact. based on what we're saying tonight. <laughs> Listen, shall we head to Paris for the farmers' market? <laughs> Jesus, absolutely. I mean, we're not going to watch football, obviously. Imagine it. Imagine when they get on that private jet later on tonight and they they just have to make their way across the skies from Madrid to Paris and, you know, Neymar looks around at Messi and Messi looks around at Mbappe and they all look around the Marquinhos and go... And they're all on, they're all on separate jets coming into land. Because <laughs> none of them hang out. There is no way in team. <laughs> this is going to be... This is going to be a shit show. This is going to be a shit show. How, what, what time are we calling Pochettino's resignation or him getting the boot? Do we give it till Friday even? Or? Does it get to 11 o'clock tonight? That's 10 now, isn't it? Yeah, does it? It gets to 11 tonight. Yeah, I reckon I'd, 11. I'd, I'd, say, I'd say I'd give him 24 hours after after that result. I don't know. Because don't he... forget, don't forget, they've gone 1-0 up on the night. So they're yes. tuning they up, tune up on aggregate. Yes. So they Absolutely. really shit the bed. Yeah, yeah. Three. It, are they giving all three of the goals to Karim Benzema? Well, if they don't, they should. They should just for knocking out uh, mm. PSG, shouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're giving um, Benzema, Benzema, Benzema. That is crazy. What Luis Gore says. Mad, isn't it? Imagine the banter from the Lil fans. Stop the lights. Interesting, interesting. The king interesting. of beauty. They'll be able to battle them for we... the next week. Lil, that French team still in I there. I wonder how we... week. wonder how all the United fans that wanted Pochettino feel right about now. Well, right about now they're feeling good because he's about to become available. But now after second guessing it and saying they don't want him, now, he's, now they're all going outside to the, to, you know, the pebble dash wall and they're smashing their heads into it going, be careful what you wish for. Don't, is, don't you know, be surprised. Can't... Do not be surprised because the United have already come out and spoken saying they want this sorted sooner rather than later. Do not be surprised. And I think that will create a serious wave of disappointment in the United fan base. Oh, listen. That would be massive disappointment because yeah. don't forget, we also predict if he comes in, mm. Harry Kane ends up in a red jersey. This, this, you know what the scary thing is? Well, the scary thing is, I mean, that may not be the worst thing in the world, oh, all know. things considered. The scarier thing would be maybe if he brought two Hardys with him, maybe the other Hardy from midfield as well, then you're in trouble. Or Eric fucking Dyer. Nah, there's only room for one fridge in a defense. You can't have two fridges. This ain't make power. It, this ain't power it city. Stop. This ain't power make city. Make it stop. Could you imagine? Yeah, Dan. Is that Daniel? Yeah, Dan. Listen, we'd like to give you 90 million for Harry Kane. And if we gave you another 15, would you throw in Eric Dyer? 
if, if we give you 15, we take it. What oh, would be God. the odds? Listen to this. What would be the odds of one manager managing Messi and Ronaldo in the same season for two different teams? Won't be the same season, though, will it? I don't know about that either. It, it 110%. They're not going to put him know. in before the end of the season. I, I, no point. I, I, I think the man that's in there at the moment is on very, very, very thin ice in terms of the way no. things are going. No. You're deaf. You're, listen, whatever about him being there to start the next season, he certainly won't be there before the end of this season. That's factual. There's not a chance. Imagine you came in and got your top four. Not a chance. <laughs> Imagine you came in and got your bottom four. <laughs> not if, funny mess. if Jesus himself came in and waved his Mickey above us, we wouldn't get top four at this stage. So, you know. Then that sort of reaffirms my point. Then why are you sticking with what's there? Maybe a change is what's needed. I don't see it myself. Because you think about it at this stage in the season and you look at the points total and the amount of games. A nice little tidy new manager bounce might be the thing that gets you over the line. Can't see it. The games are too big. Spurs, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool. Out of, out of the last 10. Like, all right, we've six games maybe. But the other five don't look great. We've Leicester yeah. in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, don't see it. Tough task. Don't see it. Yeah, mm. too much. Too much too soon. With, with the result, with the run of games we had... We needed to be above Chelsea at this stage. And, and with how Chelsea floundered, we had an opportunity to be there. We dropped way too many points yeah, against yeah, way yeah. too many teams. You floundered Lower them, teams. them, didn't you? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, well then, this has been Beat the Bookie, our favourite show of the week. As always, gamble responsibly. Drop your picks down into the comments. Let us know what you think. Darren has already suggested what our charity bet will be. It's that big 80 to 1, isn't it? Absolutely, that's her. 85. An absolute belter. We're going to knock it out of the park, hopefully. Hopefully we get a few, Bob, for Dallas. There's a few autographs and photos to be paid for as well. Woo! Till next time, my friend. A pleasure. Nice, brother.